know, it's been said that you can never be too rich or too thin. But what about too young? Tonight, a new famous face is sparking fresh controversy on where to draw the line between youth and beauty in the fashion industry. She's sultry, sophisticated, leading the parade of models at Dior's Paris show, wearing a barely there sheer gown which we've blurred. And she's just 14. Israeli native Sophia Machetner, the newest star of Christian Dior's fall collection, her tender age reigniting the fiery debate. How young is too young to strut around scantily clad on the runway? Sophia telling the Jerusalem Post, fashion nudity is about art, not about sexuality. They didn't show it in a sexual meaning or sexual way. It was very like a, a clean and fashionable way. I, I didn't see it like anything sexy. Roberto Ben Shoshan plucked Sophia from obscurity after she walked into his office one day. Sophia for me was like the diamond. She's not only beautiful, she's also unique. She's got the, the unique look, the edgy look, and also the beautiful look. He sent her to Paris, where she was spotted in a Christian Dior store by the creative director himself, Rafe Simmons. Young is fresh, and when I saw her, I knew that only top designer going to take her. A far cry from her modest upbringing, helping her single mom clean homes to make ends meet, supporting her younger siblings, all while sharing one bedroom, seen here on Israel's Channel 2. A fairy tale come true. She's now reportedly signed a contract for more than $200,000. Dior treat her like a queen. They pay for everything. Being young, very young, has always had fashion cachet. Just a few years ago, French Vogue sparked international outrage, showcasing this 10-year-old girl, Thylene Blondeau, red pout, posing suggestively. Cindy Crawford's daughter, Kaya Gerber, only 13, getting her own spread in Vogue Italia. 16-year-old Lily Rose Depp, yep, Johnny Depp's daughter, the new face of Chanel eyewear. But growing up in the world of high fashion isn't all glitz and glamour. It can be damaging. Legendary supermodel Kate Moss started modeling at age 14, but told Vanity Fair in 2012 she had a nervous breakdown when she was just 17. There's massive pressure to do what you have to do. I was really little. I see a 16-year-old now, and to ask her to take her clothes off would feel really weird. But they were like, if you don't do it, then we're not going to book you again. So I'd lock myself in the toilet and cry, and then come out and do it. I'm an old lady at 19. I love it. Carly Kloss posed nude for Allure at just 15, admitting to New York Magazine it was difficult starting out so young. I wish I would have been a little more mature, a little older, because it, there's a lot. It, this career, you know, there's a lot you have to handle, and it's it's somewhat difficult when you're thrown into it, you know, and you don't really know what to do. It's a double message when you think about it and the problem is is when these young teens get seduced and start believing they are older than they really are and they're not living the life that a teen should live and eventually that creates mental health issues. But lately in the U.S. there's been a call for change. The Council of Fashion Designers issuing guidelines that a model must be at least 16 years old to work. Excuse me, do you model already? No, ma'am. Have yes, you ever thought about it? Yes, I have. I mean, so, how I, tall are you? I'm five, five eleven. So beautiful, hon. Can I give you my card? And Modeling scouts Mary and Jeff Clark discovered Victoria's Secret model Carly Kloss in her early teens. Tonight, they're scoping out the screaming young teeny boppers at this One Direction concert in Kansas City, hoping to find the next it girl in the crowd. Oh, that's good. Can I give you our card just sure. for when she gets older? It's not necessarily for now. Before we go up to somebody, we make sure and acknowledge with each other that we both feel like, hey, there's potential there. Please look us up. We, uh, you're so sweet. <laughs> we, I know. <laughs> we discovered a lot of big successful models. We're not charging for anything, so don't be distracted by it. You're so beautiful. And I'd love to just talk to you about it or talk to your parents so that they know and have them go to our website. They say there's a fine line to walk when scouting for new talent. <laughs> she's 17, which is great. It's kind of the great time because she's in that mode of making life decisions. She's absolutely beautiful. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hope to hear from you. Bye. We spend a lot of time with our girls. Yes, we do. Um, you know, we're, we're parents and we're grandparents. I think that helps. 
Yes. And we kind of implement that into our in our in our business. So, um, you know, you just get to know them. We don't put we don't put pressure on our girls. But many international modeling scouts have a different agenda finding younger talent. In 2011, the film Girl Model documented just how far model scouts will go to find a fresh face. There's some cute girls though, there's some nice ones. One of these. Casting in the villages of Siberia in outer Russia. So the girls have to be a certain height, not too tall, uh, cute, young. Young is very important. Okay, stay here, Nadia. Can you come here closer? Nadia is just 13. They love skinny girls in Japan, and she has a fresh, young face. She looks young, almost like a pre prepescent. There's certainly a sordid, dark side to young, high fashion fame. Very few models discovered at such a tender age achieve career-lasting success. When you are young, and you are a young teen, and you're in this adult world, you want to basically please the adults that you're working for. You're in an environment that says you have to be skinny, you have to watch your weight. Uh, it's a business where you can age out of being successful or wanted. So far, the story of Dior's new it girl, Sophia Machetner, seems almost too good to be true. I was proud of her. I was proud of Dior about the way they treat her. And I'm, I'm very happy, very happy. And tonight, back in Missouri, Mary and Jeff think they may have found the newest new face. I think we did pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I... the one, the first girl I think we went up to with the hat. Yes, she was you know, beautiful. She was gorgeous. I mean, she's generally, we, yeah, generally we get, so great. we just have to wait and see if she contacts yeah. us. I mean, if it happens, great, and then we'll move forward. Should the fashion industry ban young models? Head to our Nightline Facebook page and tell us what you think.